Here's a career that comes with a lot of pressure, and the goal is to keep all that pressure inside. Inside a boiler, that is. If you can handle physical work, have good metalworking skills, and can keep your cool working in challenging places, you just might have what it takes to be a boiler maker. Boiler makers build, repair, and maintain boilers, tanks, and other pressure containers. Some of these containers are made to hold steam for power and heat, while others hold air, liquids, and gases used for other processes. Boiler makers do important work on these containers to make sure they last for many years. To get an accurate reading on this high pressure career, we talk to a boiler maker here in Alberta. Hi, my name is Bryn and I am a boiler maker. Boiler makers build and maintain various pressure vessels. We use different methods working with metals to maintain and repair these structures. Some vessels that we work on could include towers, tanks, and boilers. What I really enjoy about my job is every day is different. There's a lot of variety in boiler making. One day you can be inside the vessel and installing components, and another day you can be doing uh, rigging. First thing in the morning, we have our toolbox talk, which sets us up for the day, and then we go and put on our PPE, uh, which consists of our coveralls and work boots and hard hat and gloves and safety glasses. And uh, then we go out onto the field and start performing our duties for work, whether that be grinding or welding. You could be working on exchangers one day, and then the next day you've been put on another crew laying out components. You can work anywhere from refineries to shipyards, pulp mills, to nuclear power plants. No place is the same. As a boilermaker, some of my duties can include plan the sequence of work that we're going to be doing for the day, which could entail us laying out and cutting metal using hot or cold methods. A hot method could be oxy-fuel cutting, and cold methods could be using a zip cut. We also fit and assemble components using fastening methods. Boiler house rigging is something that we do that is very common, where we set up come-alongs and rigging, and we hoist and, and lift pieces in and out of the boiler. It helps to be strong and to be physically fit. We do do a lot of heavy lifting. It's also good to have problem-solving skills and the ability to work in a team setting. You should enjoy working with tools, equipment, and machinery it's very important that you're able to work in confined spaces and at heights. Working on top of a boiler could be upwards of 200 feet in the air. It's also good to be flexible about working in shifts and the ability to be able to travel. When you're on site, it's usually very noisy. There's always background noise, whether it be heavy hauler trucks driving by or somebody's grinding. We work in a variety of places which could include indoors in a shop uh, or outdoors in the middle of winter, so we're all season workers. To work as a boilermaker in Alberta, either you must be a registered apprentice or a certified journey person, or you can also be someone that holds a recognized trade certificate. The apprenticeship is three years long and at the end of your three years you can take an exam to get your red seal. Experienced boilermakers may also uh, advance to supervisory positions or can get into quality control and assurance. Becoming a boilermaker has allowed me to further my education in the metal trades and gone on to becoming quality control. Some of the benefits of this career is that work is always changing. It pays really well. It's really dynamic and it's exciting. Boiler making has been the best thing that I've ever done, and I highly recommend it. To be successful at this job, you need to be physically strong and have good hand-eye coordination. You should be able to work at heights and in tight spaces. If you can handle long shifts using heavy parts and machinery, and you're a good steam player, you've got the right stuff to weld yourself a solid career as a boiler maker. If you want to get a solid look at this occupation, including training requirements and salary ranges, go to the occupational profile on the ALICE website. While you're there, check out related occupations, including metal fabricator, non-destructive testing technician, and iron worker. 
explore the possibilities. Go to alice.alberta.ca.